Hello ladies and gentlemen, here we are today with the new manager of Real Madrid. Hello sir, how are you doing today? I'm doing good. I'm doing real good. I am ready. I am so excited to be joining this club, Hala Madrid. All right, that's amazing. And right now we have our first reporter from the Sun. Hello, Mr. Uh, hello, Mr. New Manager of Real Madrid. And the first question that we are going to ask is: Zidane won Champions League last year, and do you think you can do the same this year? Yes, I mean we have a lot of the same players, a lot of the same people are in the coaching and management. And we have um, the money available to improve, so I think we can do even more than Zidane did. You know, I'm expecting some big things this year out of Ronaldo, out of Benzema, out of everybody on the squad. That is amazing, that is amazing. And quick, uh, and we have, and yes, we do have another question coming from the uh, Sky Sport. Aha, yes. Hello, Sky Sport. Oh, Roy Hello there, sir. How are you doing today? I'm doing good. Awesome, awesome. And. We wanted to ask, what position do you believe needs improvement in the team? Well, first of all, I think that striker position needs some improvement. I like Benzema, but he's just not my type of striker. Now I'm going to give him some time and see where he can improve, but I think I can bring in a better player into that. And maybe even improve the defense, you know? I mean, we had Pepe there for a long time. Let's get some fresh blood in there. Alright, thank you. Thank you so much. Coming from the manager of Real Madrid and we have another question coming from the ESPN all right boss yes and we wanted to ask who do you see leaving the club very soon now I'm gonna be straight forward I said his name before I think Pepe will be the guy leaving this club you know he's he's a great guy but he's getting older he's just not the kind of guy I mean, we have Rafael Varane we have Sergio Ramos but just a third guy who can really help if Sergio Ramos or Varane get injured you know and uh, I mean we have some young I guess one or two youngsters we can bring in but I just think it'd be good if we can bring in a solid guy in that backup you know maybe a good 25 to 30 year old guy who can who can be there for the next two three four years as a good backup guy but other than that you know I, maybe Karim Benzema if he just doesn't if he doesn't play really really good I can see bringing in a new better stronger striker into that work all right thank you thank you and last question coming from the uh, telemundo all right papi como estas okay quick question um so where did you think you're going to end up at the uh, where did you think you're going to finish at the uh on, on the table for the season at the top number one i'm talking to you barcelona atletico and all those Valencia and Sevilla fans, we're coming out for you. And you better believe we're ready. We are number one. Champions League, I see us at the final, winning it with my boys making it. So we'll see you guys later. It's an open note warning to all of y'all. You want some? Come get some. All right, very confident uh, words come from the manage, from the new manager of Real Madrid, and we wish you a very good luck in your endeavors with Real Madrid, sir. Thank you so much. Hello, guys. Welcome to Soccer Manager 2017. I am so excited. You don't know how excited I am. This is finally available, and I am going to just do the best I can now I know you may be wondering what you just watched I did a little bit of an interview bit uh, you know preseason interview for you guys I hope you guys enjoyed it and basically this season is going to be fun I want to do it because you know I just because you know, just to have fun and enjoy it last season it was my first year doing things and I'm sorry I didn't really go I uh, going to do a lot of things with you guys and I missed out on a lot of episodes never really finished the Arsenal one or the new uh, the, the second season of Real Madrid, but this year I'm a lot more committed. I have more experience doing it, so you're gonna see a whole other side of me. You're gonna see a lot more funny clips and just cool things. So subscribe if you haven't already. Like, comment, just enjoy this season, and uh, you know just keep following. Now basically we're doing Real Madrid again because we did it last year. 
It was what we knew and we did and we had fun with it. So we're going to do it again this year. As you guys can see, I'm kind of looking through the mail, looking through everything. Everything looks pretty good. This is going to be an exciting season. I am so excited. And I just hope you guys are excited as I am. Basically, as you guys can see, these are match, uh, there's, they're showing matches coming up. They're showing the money we have. You know, I'm still kind of sad that we uh, uh, were disappointed that we don't have as much money as I would think a team like Real Madrid has. But, you know, we'll just have to find good bargains and good sales. And also, you know, uh, uh, we have those big matches that most of us look up to. You know, the El Clasico Champions League matches. We can probably expect Champions League to start around September. And um, as you guys can see, I'm kind of showing you my team roster now. And uh, those are classical, I think, I believe it's over in, around in October. Anyway, this is the team. As you guys can see, um, a lot of it is the same as last time. There's not a lot of changes to this roster. There's um, a couple guys I do want to send out on loan. So let's go and get those loaned out, guys. And if there's anyone else you guys think I should send out on loan or a transfer list, uh, you know, tell me. I really want to hear from you guys this time. Uh, first person I want to send out is Martin Odegaard. He's 17. He's 80 rated. I think he's a good guy for the future, but I don't think this first season he, I'm going to need him. So I'm going to loan him out to another team. Uh, another guy is Marco Asensio. Asenso. Anyway, um, he's also a pretty good guy, but I, I also want him to get more experience. And I don't want him to just sit on the bench until I... I, I can use him. I want him to get that first rate uh, experience, just like Mateo Kovacic. Great guys, guys I can play uh, right even right now. But I want them to go and get out that experience, and if I need them, or just recall them from their loan, and we can use them if an injury happens or anything like that occurs. And um, the next person is Pepe. I'm gonna transfer list him actually. You know, uh, I think he he's a good player, but at 33 years old, he's not someone I'm interested in bringing in. So I kind of want to see him leave the club and want to bring in another guy to take his place to compete with Varane and Ramos for that position. So tell me in the comments who you guys want me to buy for center um, for the center back position. That's a position I'm really interested in bringing someone in for. I really want a good stable center back. As you guys can see, these are kind of the matches that will be coming up. At the bottom, you can see some top matches like Sevilla and Atletico Madrid. And um, hopefully we can get some great results this season. Like, you know, and do even better than last season. Now, we got a bid for loan for Asensio. So, um, I uh, I believe I got a bid from, I think, like an, a Premier League team or an English team, Aston Villa, I think. And so, we got that accepted. Now, we're going straight into um, our first match of the preseason. Now, this formation, you guys can see, it's the old formation. I'm going to be trying out two formations in this episode. I'm going to try out the 4-3-3-B and 4-3-3-A. This is 4-3-3-B. It's similar as the same from last season. And so let's get this started. Anyway, guys, you guys can see the match get started here. Uh, it's kind of going a little bit slow, so I'm going to move the speed a little bit real quick just to um, uh, so it can go a little bit faster. Anyway, match starts here. And uh, you guys can see well, a, a, a movement is going on. Balls getting moved on here and there. And it's a foul yellow card for Rodriguez. Match begins and continues again. It's a chance here. Can we put it in? Yes, we can. And it is a goal for Real Madrid. Our first goal of the episode, guys. I'm excited. First goal. That's a good sign right there. Showing we have some great things that are going to be coming up here. Match continuing here. We're hitting the 38 minute. Soon we're going to hit the 48 minute. Things are going pretty good. Chance for a chance on the other side, but we make a about not us makes a great save. Match continues here. Chance for Madrid. Can we make it 2-0? Yes, we can. It's a goal for Real Madrid. 2-0 up. We put it in and we on to halftime. Now, guys, I kind of want to make a little bit of changes. You know, Ronaldo, I kind of don't like his rating in this match. He hasn't been showing it. And last season, I had that. Last time with 2016, I had that problem. Ronaldo just doesn't stand out. And um, I, we also had a big injury problem. I hope they fix the injury problem. And I just hope he stands out more this year. Um, I'm going to change up the striker position. Get Benzema out of there. Also, there's a yellow. One of our players, have a, Rodriguez, has a yellow card from that foul earlier in the game. So I'm going to switch him out as well. 
and you know guys tell me just your suggestions i really want to hear what you think i want to hear what guys you want me to bring in who do you think would be fit this team and that's just that's really what i want i want this to be a career where i can hear your opinions and mine anyway guys we get the second half underway and i believe we're attacking now to the to the right sorry that there seems to be um so much going uh, good kind of going on right now um but anyway we're over here continuing and we make it 3-0 with a fabulous free kick from Ronaldo. I have to take back my words guys. I thought we were going to go and do and Ronaldo was not going to perform well. But you know what? That free kick was beautiful. So we're going to keep it like that. Anyway, match continuing here. We're trying to get some, uh, uh, some more goals. Maybe we can get one more before the game ends. And I think we're not going to. So we're going to end our first game of the season first preseason game 3-0 exciting just everything's great anyway back into the transfer market Asenso has signed with uh, uh the english team which is great i hope he gets a lot of game time over there i expect him to do really really well off on loan also news coming up that pepe is looking to retire soon which you know he's 33 He's getting older. That's why I kind of want to get a little bit of money for him. So, you know, we'll just have to see. Hopefully, we can get a bid. Anyway, guys, I changed up the formation like I told you guys before. This is the 433A. And this is um with kind of like a, a, a more kind of closed in, I guess. Not just not wide like before. Hopefully, this formation can do well. I have most of the same team from, uh, from last time coming in. And let's get this match started, guys. Let's go. We're facing, um, we're facing, I believe it's Las Palmas we're facing. And let's get started here. Chance for Real Madrid. Cross comes in. Goal! Go for Real Madrid. We're already looking good in with this new formation. Can we get an, another goal in? And, and yes, yes, we are here. Chance comes in. Another cross. It's another goal for Real Madrid. We're just looking fabulous. Unbelievable, guys. We're looking great. What a way to start it out. 2-0, we're looking fabulous this first round. I really love this formation. I kind of feel like it puts everything kind of in perspective. And it, it, it just, I think it works out well for me. And, you know, tell me guys more of your preferences. Do you like me doing these quick, short matches or do you want the longer matches? Um, and, you know, just tell me what you think. Do you want longer highlights or shorter highlights? Do you like to see more highlights of, um, like, misses and stuff? Or do you like the highlights of just the goals or... Whatever, tell me what you guys would like. Anyway, um, as you guys can see, we tried, to, uh, we tried to get another chance, but we couldn't really do it. Now we have the, uh, the other team coming in with opportunity, but they missed out as well. Match continuing here, not too much going on. Real Madrid at the ball, can we take in another goal, can we put it in? Yes, we can! It's the third goal for Real Madrid. 3-0 here for the, Ma the Madridistas. Third chance, and it's another goal. Guys, we're on fire. I love this formation. I feel like this formation is the perfect formation for this team. We are just completely on fire. And the match ends 4-0. Man of the match, Garrett Bale. Great performance by the team overall. I loved how everyone played. It was great all around. Thank you so much guys for watching the first episode. Like, comment down below every all your suggestions, formations. Who should I buy? I want to know that. Who do you want me to buy? And, uh, you know, should I get a striker? Whatever. Tell me everything, guys. God bless you guys. Um, uh, you know, subscribe. Have a nice day.